So old Donnie, as we know, has been making a desperate attempt to escape justice. And he kicked that into overdrive today as he was caught off guard. And now he is running away. He is fleeing from the consequences of years of evil, awful, terrible actions. Hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out because we're going to break down why this is all happening today. And it centers around the top person betraying him so far. The person's a nut job, don't get me wrong, but in terms of knowing the dirt on Donnie in multiple locations, Sidney Powell taking down Donnie today to save herself has made Donald run and hide, fleeing away in his plane, going anywhere. He is scared and it's all because of this. Watch it and then we'll break it down. Few people pushed it further than Sidney Powell. Yeah, that's right, Kate. It's important to remember who Sidney Powell is. She's one of Donald Trump's closest loyalists. She's somebody who Donald Trump has claimed he relied on her advice to proceed in his effort to try to steal this election. This is a major breakthrough for prosecutors, potentially a devastating development for Donald Trump, because what's going to happen now is Sidney Powell is going to testify for prosecutors in Georgia. And presumably, she'll also be prepared to testify for Jack Smith in his federal case in Washington, D.C. She's not indicted in that case, but she's listed as a co-conspirator in that case. She's going to be able to provide insider information that could be really devastating towards Donald Trump. She was in the room where some things, if not happened, were at least discussed, Ellie. She was part of some of these contentious meetings that allegedly took place in the White House before January 6. How can prosecutors now use her? So you use her to bring your jury into that very room. She will be the guide. She will be the narrator. She will be able to say, I was in this room with Donald Trump, with Rudy Giuliani. Here's what we discussed. Here's who said what. Here's what we knew. And John, really importantly, in order to take this plea and this deal, Sidney Powell is going to have to acknowledge what we did was criminal. It was illegal. It was a crime. And so that's going to lend a lot of credibility, I think, obviously, to prosecutors' assertions that what Donald Trump did was knowingly a crime, was an intentional crime. So now they've sort of got an ultimate insider, somebody who has remained steadfastly loyal to Donald Trump, to the stolen election narrative. Now she has flipped. Now she has come clean. Now she's going to be a prosecution witness. She was on election night, she was at the White House watching the returns come in. That's according to some of the test, her testimony um, to House investigators, though she declined to speak about a lot of stuff. So that's what you're getting at. Like she was in, she can speak to basically everything in terms of Donald yeah. Trump's involvement. But is there any limit? Ellie, to what, in terms of a plea deal, and I don't need, know if the details need to come further out to know this, but is there any limit to what prosecutors, how prosecutors can use her, what they can have her testify to? So typically, Kate, uh, cooperation has to be all or nothing. Prosecutors yeah. do not accept partial cooperation. Well, you can just tell us some details or some facts, or you can just testify about some people but not others. The standard cooperation plea deal is you have to give up everybody, you have to give up everything, and you have to be willing to testify in this court and any other court where you're needed. So again, the implications here go to the Fulton County DA's charges down in Georgia, but I think they also are gonna go to Jack Smith's charges, the federal case in Washington, D.C. I think she's now going to become a potential witness for him as well. News just into CNN. Uh, well, Caitlin Polance, I'm gonna go to you since we see you up on the screen with it. It involves Sidney Powell in a plea deal in Georgia. Caitlin, what are you learning? This is quite a significant development this morning, John and Kate. What we have now is Sidney Powell, one of the top lawyers that was working for Donald Trump after the 2020 election. She is pleading guilty in the election subversion case that she is charged criminally in in Georgia. This is the state level case against her and 18 other defendants, including Donald Trump, including Mark Meadows, including Rudy Giuliani. And in that case, she is not only pleading guilty to some charges there, she's in court 
court currently at this very moment entering that plea before a judge. She also is agreeing as part of this deal to testify at future trials. So Sidney Powell is lined up uh, essentially to go to trial at the end of this week alongside one other defendant in that case, another lawyer, Ken Chesbro. She's not going to be going to trial now. So she's taking this plea deal. She will not have that trial. She will also be uh, in a situation where prosecutors will be recommending her to avoid jail time as part of this deal. Uh, but it's significant that not only is she avoiding the trial, not only is she putting in this guilty plea, that she is very likely to become a witness against Donald Trump and the others as they go to trial in Georgia. And there's a lot here at stake, not only in Georgia, but also in the federal court in D.C., where another criminal case against the former president exists and where Sidney Powell has been identified as a top co-conspirator there. And so what this means for Donald Trump going forward is it's not good uh, for him to have people pleading and agreeing to cooperate with prosecutors, whether it's at the federal level or state level. So having Sidney Powell agreeing to testify is quite a significant step forward for the prosecutors in Georgia, as well as potentially any other prosecutors uh, who are bringing and trying to prosecute cases against Donald Trump at trial. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm being told that we just heard from Judge McAfee in Georgia just a moment ago. Let's listen to this together, Caitlin. Of course. So much for coming on, Maggie. What are you hearing from inside Trump world about this this deal? And what are the sort of reverberations happening? Yeah, Dan Dana, this caught Trump world by surprise, as it did all of us. This was one of the, the best kept secrets out of that DA's office in some time. They're still trying to figure out what it means. There are some people in his world who are telling me they don't think this is that big a deal for him. They think that her ability to actually really testify is marginal. Uh, they're arguing that this shows that the DA overcharged in this case. The flip side is the argument that she intentionally charged this way so that she could end up getting uh, guilty pleas. And, and there's there's nobody who's happy about it. You know, there is concern about the degree to which Powell could offer information, not just about former President Trump, but about Rudy Giuliani, as noted before. Now, the, the former president is still, Dana, most concerned right now with the New York AG case, which is about his business, and that is really where the bulk of his mind share is. But th there's nobody in Trump world who is who is pretending this is a good development. They're just, you know, split on what exactly it means. And that's such an important point that we have to keep remembering, and it's easy to do when there's so much happening in the world. But the former president was in New York this week because he is so worried about what the uh, civil trial up there means for his businesses. And um, but but back to what this Sidney Powell situation means. I mean, we should remind our viewers that we're talking about plans to overturn the 2020 election, and specifically, there was a key meeting at the White House. This was December 18th, 2020, uh, military seizing voting machines in states Trump lost, naming Sidney Powell as a special counsel to investigate suppo supposed voter fraud, and Trump invoking martial law to overturn the election. This is just some of what we're talking about. And so if this is a White House meeting, and if, again, this is mostly about, this is about Georgia, but still, uh, if Sidney Powell is willing to, spill the beans on what Donald Trump might have been saying in that White House meeting, that could be significant. There's no question, and Dana, to your point, that meeting related to, to what she was charged with. So, you know, the, I expect that you will see if she is called to testify, which I expect if there are trials in this case, she will be, her having to talk in full about that. Now, remember, she and other participants in that meeting, and it was it was a, a wild meeting that we reported on, that CNN reported on, Jonathan Swan, then at Axios reported on. It, it was a, It was a lengthy wild meeting that laid bare how serious Donald Trump was about trying to stay in office once we learned of the details. But it's a meeting that Powell and Giuliani and other people who were in that meeting from the other side trying to stop it uh, testified to extensively before the House Select Committee investigating Trump's efforts to subvert the election. How much more she would offer on top of that, I don't know what was unsubstantiated fraud. And they filed multiple things in multiple courts that were all essentially dismissed because of lack of evidence. And so I think that's where a lot of people will remember seeing her as we are discussing what happened right after the election. Let's get Lisa Rubin in here. I just wanna get your first quick thoughts about this big development, Lisa. 
I agree with Laura. This is absolutely huge. And before I joined you, Ana and Jose, I did have an opportunity to watch over YouTube some of the plea allocution hearing before Judge Scott McAfee in Fulton County Superior Court. What it looks like is that Sidney Powell has now pled guilty to six counts of conspiracy to commit interference with the performance of election duties. You'll remember that the Fulton County indictment largely charges Sidney Powell in respect of her role to overturn results in Coffee County, Georgia, including by dismantling the voting machines in that county, both leading up to January 6th, but as importantly, after January 6th, in part because there were folks in and around former President Trump who believed that if they could just get into the voting machines, they could give that information to folks in other counties and other states around the country and continue to undermine the legitimacy of the 2020 election, even after the transfer of power. We knew that there was a possibility that Sidney Powell would plead guilty after we had the first plea in this case from Scott Hall. He is a defendant or was a defendant in this case against whom the charges were entirely overlapping with respect to those against Sidney Powell. So at the time, Laura and I and others said, hey, now that Scott Hall has pled out, look for Sidney Powell to be the next domino that falls. Of course, the value of Sidney Powell, as Laura mentioned, is her testimony against others. And that includes not only Rudy Giuliani, but former President Trump himself. That will largely be her utility here. And she has confirmed on the record that she will testify truthfully and accurately to anything that the Fulton County District Attorney's Office asks of her, Ana and Jose. Look, this is why I said they needed to take his passport. He remains a flight risk. Donald Trump is fleeing. He is fleeing the nation of sanity. He is fleeing the country of decency. You know, he, I don't know if he'll end up in Russia, but right now he remains a flight risk. He is fleeing the country. It's going to happen. Because this man is a monster. And this caught him off guard. As noted there, in addition to this being a massive deal, it was a surprise to him. He did not see this coming. And it's in that fear and in that shock that Donald will leave. He already said it before. I would leave the country if I lost the election. Well, if he didn't leave then, he's going to leave now. 